Hi there, my name is Nick, and I'm the lead developer of Block Visibility. I wanted to record a short video today that talks about how you can use the plugin for content management. Now, Block Visibility can do all sorts of things like scheduling content and you know displaying things in different locations, but this is kind of the simplest feature of the plugin, and I wanted to show you just how useful it is and how I'm using it right now as I'm editing the Block Visibility website. So here we are on the Block Visibility website, and I released a new version um, yesterday. And so there are some updates that need to be made to the homepage. Now, prior to the release, I worked on those updates in the back end, um, but they were never made visible on the front end of the website. Now you'll notice obviously that this page is published. So the changes that I made in preparation for the release, they were made and they were saved, but they were not visible to the public. So, and of course we use block visibility to do that. So let me switch over to the back end here. And let me start at the top. You'll notice that there's all sorts of content on this homepage that you don't see if you're a visitor on the front end. Um, here we have some information um, for people coming here from, uh, from WordPress.org. As we scroll down, we see some, some content here that's restricted by screen size. You can see a couple more here. And as we move our way down to the control section, you'll notice that there's a couple different areas that have the hidden icon associated with them. So let's hop over to the front end here and we'll scroll down to the live site. So let's do a little comparison here. So looks very similar. You can see that there's an icon here that's hidden. I'm playing around with adding some icons, you know, to the different areas, but I haven't quite finished that. So while I'm working on it, I've just hidden that section and on the front end, you don't, you don't see you none the wiser. And then for these new, uh, new controls that were included with the new pro version, version 1.1, we had URL path and then we had browser and device. So I had two little sections about those two new features that I wanted to include within the control section. Um, but I was able to create these, this content prior to when I wanted it to be public. And all I need to do is just hide it. Um, so, and you'll notice down here that there's another column row that kind of moves this future control section down. So in this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just walk through unhiding it all now that it's ready for public release and we'll see what it looks like on the front end. So here, what I've done is I've created, these are individuals, so this is a paragraph and then a heading and some more paragraphs. What I've done is just to be easy, I've just wrapped it in a group block so I'm going to go to group, I'm going to go to visibility, I'm going to unhide it, come up here, go to group. Now you can always go to the sidebar, but you can also, for, for the hide control, you can just do it right from the options. So we're going to enable that block. So now you can see that those indicators went away. Down here for this column, I'm going to enable that as well. So now you can see that those indicators have gone away. Now this piece, this future controls piece, I don't need anymore. So I'm just going to go to the group. I'm going to remove that. And now we have our path, browser and device, future controls. Now the beauty of this was that I, you know, a couple days ago, wrote these two sections, got them all set up, got everything going. Um, but so I don't have to do all these edits in one go. I, I did it a couple days ago. I just hid them until I was ready. Now that I'm ready, I'm just unhiding them. And I'm still not ready with the icon yet, so we'll leave that hidden still. And we're just going to hit update. And now we'll go over to the front end of the site. And so again, this is what you would have seen and I would have wanted you to see prior to the release of version 1.1 of Pro. And then now that we're ready for the world to see the two new sections, we'll refresh. And there we go. So, well, block visibility can do all sorts of stuff, date and time, screen size, location, all this stuff. The high block is 
probably the one that you might end up using the most, especially from a content management standpoint. The ability to build out a very complicated page that's, you know, and then publish it and then go back and make changes to it while that page is still live, um, but hide the components that you aren't quite finished with is just such a useful feature. And honestly, it's one of the greatest things about the new block editor in WordPress. This type of content management was not something you could really have ever done efficiently in the classic editor uh, prior to um, the introduction of the block editor. And this kind of content management carries through the full site editing and all the uh, new features that are coming along with uh, block based themes and theme.json and all that kind of stuff. So hope that was a nice little insight into a live actual edit of the block visibility website and just how useful just the simple hide hide control can be when it comes to managing content on a website. Thanks for watching.